Helen Lowen. So this is a new video um, um, because I lost my train of thought in the last video talking about Bernie Sanders. I was talking about how the status quo, the power, I mean the power, <laughs> power structure, will try to maintain their power structure when Bernie Sanders gets elected, how they try to keep people retarded. Because um, when TV, when they stop, I'm looking at myself, when they stop talking about um, they stop um, um, having people stop watching TV and start watching YouTube. And so what I was talking about in the Bernie Sanders video is people start work watching YouTube. Um, <clears throat> and I've seen how it's happening now. Like uh, YouTube videos are getting, um, you're starting to see um, pharmaceutical um, ads on them. And, uh, and then ads for television shows and stuff on YouTube. And so, yeah, YouTube's getting more and more mainstream, and so, and so, what happens when you, they can't, um, people stop watching news, and then Fox News gets so unpopular, and so then, and so, and all of their little websites, people stop paying attention to, um, how, what, are, are they going to try anything funky or weird or interesting to try to keep, uh, people thinking that, um, like, you know, lib like against the liberals and stuff. And so maybe they will start a um, um, professional uh, professional trolls and then a lot of like, like, uh, like many Fox News is on YouTube, like, like that appear to be um, grounds up based, but they're funded. So like some dude like pays say a, a billion dollars or 500 million dollars for Fox News <clears throat> or I don't know, 100 million dollars on Fox News instead of that you spend the same amount of money <clears throat> but instead of giving it to one channel you give it to like a thousand channels and you just you just get these like random dudes like even not even smart because you don't even have to pay much um, to just uh, yeah pump all the whatever you tell them to um, you know, pro-war, um, um, pro-Wall Street, pro-big business, um, and then all the re religious stuff, you know. Um, although, that's, that's interesting to talk about, though. What's the relationship between all the, like, stupid, or the, like, the religious base of the Republican Party and then the rich elite? And, um, I'm not so sure the rich elite believe the same stuff that the Republican base does. I think it's kind of like they're pretending they know that um, that all they have to do is say we love our Jesus, and the Republican base will will go oh, okay. Then we follow you because this, the dumbest people in the world are the most religious. Um, if you look at the statistics, um, the poorest people in America are the most religious, and uh, even if you listen to people like I was listening to. Uh, I um, remember one of those black guys from the 1800s in the slavery days, and the most religious of the slave owners were the most cruel. And it's, so it's kind of like, a, because it's, it's a, it's, Christianity has kind of evolved into this uh, religion where it's, a, it's kind of like an easy way out for people who are dumb and people who fuck up all the time. All you have to do is say you love your Jesus, and then you can forget about all of your, all the bad things you've done. And then, of course, choose, pick and choose all the bad things that other people do who are even worse than you, like that lady for the, who didn't want to let the gay people get married. She'd been married four times. And uh, and then she became like the babbling Christian. And then, so then she was like, ah, oh, yeah, and I hate the gays. And so she decided to not, not let them get married. So, so yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm not so sure how much this, you know, the smarter, smart evil rich people. Or the smart, the, the rich people who want to believe in the wealth discrepancy actually believe in the, in the Jesus stuff. Um, but, um, but, but yeah, if you put in all that money, you would, you would try to, you know, keep that base, that Republican base on your side. So you would make lots of interesting, you'd pay a lot of interesting, you know, people like that to, um, re religious people to, to pump the religious and then also to pump the, uh, you know, helping the, the big business and the uh, tax breaks for the wealthy and the uh, bailing the bankers out and uh, 
um, and the wars attacking other countries and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, stuff could get really interesting pretty soon with uh, how you, different YouTube channels and YouTube people. For example, and I got the I kind of originally got the idea because um, I did it. I got a, a weird comment from George for title. Uh, he's just that weird YouTube guy. Like he he got busted for doing stuff just for money, like John the Bed paying him money to pump his ping stock. And so I, yeah, I did a video where I was talking about I was complaining about not having money because I went through I had that DUI bust fucked up my money situation, and then this other thing happened. I did a video about it. It was disappointing. So I, anyway, anyway, I deleted those two videos. But but yeah, um, but then like I did another video after that, or maybe it was the other video. It had nothing to do with that. And he's like, hey, for me to talk about your website, your timeline, you'd have to pay me. I would never do it for free. And I thought that was a weird thing to say. But then I remembered who he was on YouTube. And he, he does that stuff for money. And so, um, yeah, so maybe they have like, I don't know, maybe there's like some kind of like underground or they will develop some kind of underground. Because on YouTube, there are lots of like subcultures and subcultures within subcultures where it's maybe a dozen people or something or less who all know each other. But nobody else does because they're just talking about one little thing. And I've speaked into that a little bit with people talking about me, like uh, this kid did a video about me calling me a uh, calling me a, uh, a prepper. Like I was in the prepper community with that. With that. But um, but yeah, you get all of these little um, oh shit, what was I talking about? Enclaves. Yeah, so, um, Ute, I'm kind of high. Uh, yeah, so, with all the little enclaves, I'm going to have to pause it. Oh, man. Um, they have their, uh, yeah, was, anyway, the influence. The influence of themselves. Oh, fuck. Okay, here's my second try. I did another video. I just did it the second part of that video that I've lost my train of thought. I recorded the whole thing for like 10 minutes and then I saw, I looked at it and it had stopped somehow after a minute. So I don't know what the hell happened because I took it away. I didn't want to look at myself. I distract myself when I look at myself, but I don't want to minimize it and then realize later that it got stopped somehow after, after a minute. So let's see here, I just minimized it, brought it up, and it still exists. Okay, so hopefully this won't stop. Okay, so anyway, what I was talking about is there may be enclaves of people on YouTube. I hate doing the same video twice. Of enclaves of video, video of people on YouTube who um, who are paid, um, paid trolls and, um, and uh, would do anything for money. Um, I remember I got the idea originally from um, this guy called uh, George for Title. I did a video talking about something, and then it wasn't, and then and then all of a sudden, something random, different, and all of a sudden he comments. He goes, "I wouldn't say I wouldn't say anything about your anything good about your timeline. You'd have to pay me." And I thought that's weird, like because he's the guy who was getting paid by John Lebeb to pump his penny stock. I did a video about him. Someone asked, asked me, so. I, saw some of these videos. I don't know if he's still on YouTube. But, um, um, oh yeah, he actually re-uploaded my video. I did a video where I was com com complaining about money um, last summer because I got that DUI and then something else that bad happened. I did a video talking about it and I deleted both of those. But two people re-uploaded that video. <laughs> I think they've since deleted it, but he was one of the people who re-uploaded it. But yeah, he got all pissed off about me doing that video. Because he's like, God damn it, I don't know why, he, like, what, is Mike trying to, like, get, get, muscle my way in on his business or something, doing stuff for money? But yeah, I think, anyway, that gave me the idea. So yeah, there might be a group of people who do that and uh, for money. But then, but then there'll be all kinds of different kinds of people, like the religious kids, the fundamentalist Christian kids who, who, uh, who hate the Muslims, and so they'll talk, they'll, like, try to pump, go into war, and um, so, because it may be a better bang for your buck to spend a hundred million dollars instead of on Fox News. Once Fox News disintegrates because people don't watch TV anymore, you then re-divert that money, $100 million, into a thousand different YouTube, YouTube channels of uh, people who, you know, who are like normal people. And, oh, look at all their subscribers, because then they could, with all their money, they could make up all these other 
fake channels and the, to get subscribed to the people. Oh, look at all the subscribers he has and look at all the, the hits he has. Pay, pay people to just click on the video over and over again. And uh, you could maybe, I don't know, pop pump it. Um, uh, make it popular and then make it catch on and then, and then people could make stuff stories up about other YouTube channels like the Young Turks and uh, And kind of become a force that way on YouTube like like a Fox News monster of Fox News broken up into a lot of little mini monsters um, Troll channels that are like funded funded channels um, Because you hear comments like that on the channels. Um, I saw a channel um I commented on a Young Turks channel where they were, they were talking about Donald Trump, and I said, I hate Donald Trump, I can't wait until he goes away and someone starts cancel. He's like, oh, you love Donald Trump, I, you, people like you just can't get enough of him, and you're, gonna, and you're just going to love it when he gets pre president. And I looked at who that person was, and it wasn't a person, it was like an empty person. And every kind of time, and I get a lot of like comments back like that, of mean people saying weird stuff like that, taunting things, or tease it weird like childish like stuff you'd hear in Fox News and you go back and it's never a person and so yeah maybe it's one of these like professional trolls you know but uh but yeah um that might be I think I saw a Young Turks video actually like a year ago they busted the, the Russians had a 15 million dollar a year uh troll budget YouTube troll budget so um yeah so yeah I was just thinking maybe in like a year or two three when Fox News blows up have some interesting videos coming out. Okay. I think those are my ideas. Let's stop it. Did it record? Yay.